Hello dear students and welcome to this video. Today we will talk about central nervous system stimulants. The first group that we will talk about are the methylxanthine which contain thiophylline which is found in the tea, thioprene which is found in the cacao and also caffeine. The second group will be nicotine and uh, also we will talk about varinicline, cocaine, amphetamine and methylphenidate. The mechanism of action of methylxanthines is that they inhibit phosphodiesterase enzyme which will lead to increase in cyclic adenosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate. Also, they block adenosine receptors. And because methylxanthines relax smooth muscle of the bronchioles, they were previously the main stay of asthma therapy. But uh, currently, they, they have been replaced by other agents, which is uh, the selective beta 2 agonists and also corticosteroids because of the side effects. Nicotine is the second to caffeine as the most widely used CNS stimulant. And this mechanism of action is that in low doses, it causes ganglionic stimulation by depolarization, but at high so doses, it, it causes ganglionic blockade. Nicotine is an, an addictive substance and physical dependence develops rapidly and it can be very severe. And the withdrawal symptoms is characterized by irritability and anxiety, restlessness, difficult concentration, concentrating, headaches, and insomnia. Also, the transdermal brush and the chewing gum contains nicotine that have been shown to reduce the nicotine withdrawal symptoms and to help smokers stop smoking. Varinicline is a partial agonist at the neuronal, neuronal nicotinic is acetylcholine receptor in the central nervous system and it produces less euphoric effects than those produced by nicotine itself. So it can be used also to help in smoke quitting. I mean smoking cessation. Cocaine is a highly addictive drug which is scheduled to drug and its mechanism of action is that it binds to the monoaminergic reuptake transporters which are the norepinephrine, serotonin, dopamine so, uh, and it blocks the, uh, the reuptake of these monoamines to the synaptic uh, terminal. Cocaine has a local anesthetic action that represents the only current rationale for the therapeutic use of cocaine and when it is uh, applied topically it has a local anesthetic drug during uh, eye, ear, nose and throat surgery whereas the local anesthetic action of this cocaine is due to the blockage of voltage activated sodium channels. Amphetamine acts by uh, releasing the intercellular stores of the catecholamine, so it elevates the level of catecholamine neurotransmitters in the synaptic space. And this drug, it, it is not that it, it increases uh, alertness and decreases fatigue, and it, it reverses appetite, and it also it causes insomnia. So this CNS stimulant effect of amphetamine has been shown that it has a proven effect for hyperactivity in children for narcolepsy and also for the appetite control and at high doses psychosis and convulsion can occur but the diabetic and effect of amphetamine and the, uh, something that limits is the physio, phys psychological and physical dependence of patients Atmoxetin is also a non stimulant drug which is also used for attention if it is have active disorder like amphetamine and this drug it, it works as a non-epinephrine reuptake inhibitor and it is not a control substance because it does not block dopamine reuptake. Methylphenidate is a dopamine transport inhibitor which is used for treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity deficit disorder ADHD and because it also increases the like improves the attention span and it is a scheduled drug to the drug. The last group that we will talk about are the hallucinogens, which are the L and LSD lysergic acid diethylamide, tetrahydrocannabinol, and phencyclidine. These uh, agents they induce the alert state, and also it, uh, it is accompanied by vision of bright, colorful changes in the environment, and by a persistence of constantly changing, changing shapes and colors. LSD has been shown that it is serotonin agonist, tetrahydrocannabinol, which is available as drone binol, 
and has been used to treat emesis and to stimulate the, the appetite for patients with an uh, immune acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Phencyclidine inhibits the reuptake of dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine, and also it has anticholinergic effect. Tolerance often develops with continued use again, and, and also the, uh, it does not have any therapeutic applications. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you later.